Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, first of all, I want to start off by saying you guys are the most encouraging and uplifting community that we could we could ask for. Um, there's been many times that I've shared about things here on this channel where I've just been super vulnerable and it could have went a different ways like you you could have sat there and said no you need to do this and da, 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 and just you could have judged us um in negative ways for what we have um, chosen to do but you haven't and so um just thank you so so much for being encouraging and uplifting and being being that community that we need a lot of times for a missionary, when when they start feeling that they don't have that community, that's when they feel like, I don't know if I can do this anymore. And it's, it's because of you guys that I'm like, okay, I can do this one more day. Okay, we can get through this. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for being uplifting and encouraging. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for your comments. You are more than welcome to comment directly on the video under the video on YouTube you can comment when I post it on Facebook just whatever works for you um, but it is just nice to know that there's so many people are watching the videos and hopefully you're encouraged by them and um, I know that there's many of you that are praying for us that are uplifting us and are there for us so that means the world thank you so much so today I have something really encouraging to share. We have a wide range of ages of teachers here at the school. We have, or last semester we had a student teacher. So sometimes we have those that are, that are still finishing up college. Um, we have those that you know came directly from college. We have those that have come later after they've started their career and so we've had we've had missionaries that have been here at the school for like 20 plus years and then we have others that have been here you know for maybe a year or two or and then there's in between like us we've been here for five years and it's just as a young missionary as somebody that still has so much to learn um, just questions and different things it's been really supportive and um, just such a blessing to have those outlets of missionaries here that have done it for a long long time we actually have at the school we have a room where the part-time elementary and middle school teachers stay like that's like our workspace or whatever and so in that workspace we have this older gentleman that he he started at manila if i, if I remember right and like started that school he's been a principal he might have been ahead of school before he's taught history and um, PE and weightlifting and been a coach I think he's been an athletic director he's he's done a whole whole lot okay and he's um, he, he's lived here for a very long time and sometimes older people like the older they get the grumpier they get <laughs> or just like you know they're like I have been on this earth long enough that what I say goes and you should be okay with that and that's you know that's fine that's their personality but this gentleman is such a gentleman he is so he's a listener he's he gives good advice he's an encourager just he's there for you and I I was having a down moment um, probably early February 
February and sometimes January, sometimes March can be a little bit discouraging to us financially. Um, it's just like the number of partners for those months seems like it's less. The amount of giving seems like it's less. And so I was like, you know what? He has been here for a really long time. I'm going to see if he just has any words of wisdom to help us get through this or, you know, any piece of advice. Is there anything that I'm doing wrong or that I should be doing differently that he knows of? And so, um, I sat there and I said, hey, February just seems to be a lower month. You know, do you, do you have any, have you seen that happening or do you have any things that you have done to help you through that or whatever and he made a good point he sees a lower amount of attendance of church in February so that was interesting and then he's like no I don't I don't think I really have a good answer for you and I was like okay that that's fine you know that's an honest answer I was just asking a question you know like he doesn't have to answer it and then the next day he pulls me aside and says hey I want to apologize for not you had a question and I didn't give you an answer and he's like honestly I don't have a really good answer except I have this partner that showed up once I hit six, 65 and I was like oh and he's like yeah that partner's called Uncle Sam you know like you get to that certain point in your life and you have this guaranteed check of social security I was like yeah that that would take um away some of the strain and some of the worry and so that made a lot of sense and so I was like okay and you know kind of just laughed at it and smiled and um anyways so weeks later today he pulled me aside and said hey I have, well first, he, he started the question off kind of different, which I thought was interesting. He said, do you have a way, like if you receive a check to deposit it, you know, like through, through your organization, SIL, or do you know a way through the school, or if you were given a check, like how would you deal with it? And I said, well, I've got an app on my phone that you can take a picture of a check and then give it a couple of days and then it ends up in your bank account. And he's like, okay. And he said, well, I have um, a check that I, or I have an amount of money that I received from one of my partners that I want to give to you. And I was like, oh, wow. It was, you know, just kind of blew me away. And then um, it was from a gentleman that he taught over 40 years ago in the United States and so he's like keep up your teaching you don't know who whoever you'll impact um, and your teaching no matter in what form it returns it it will have some type of return on it like, and so you know thank you and I had to rush off to class and teach um, and didn't think much of it. And then after class, I opened up the check and um, we, we are going through the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I don't, I don't remember exactly how many there are, so I'm not even going to say a number, but we are going through the Dave Ramsey baby steps, except when we started it. I was so anxious to get our credit card paid off and not to have to touch our credit card again. I skipped their emergency fund and said we're just going to pay off our credit card. Well, we have our credit card paid off, but we don't have a complete emergency fund. And in the Dave Ramsey plan, it says to have your emergency fund be at least $1,000. That way, if something happens, you have that little bit of money to help. And then you 
go from the emergency fund and then you start the snowball and pay off the smallest debt first and the next biggest and so on. And so, when he handed me that check and when I opened the amount, I was like, okay, Lord, I, I think, I believe that, like, this is what you're telling me to do. And I knew that Dan was um, supervising study hall in the library, but I knew that there was only, like, two or three kids in there. And so I, I said, ran up to him. I was like, hey, you know, we've got this and this we've got to take care of and this and this. And he's like, okay, um, hopefully these people are okay with us not taking care of it right now. You know, hopefully we can take care of it later. And I said, well, actually I've got a blessing here for us. And so I handed him the envelope and he opened it up and it was just, it was exciting. It was, um, out of privacy for the, the gentleman. I don't want to say the amount, but like, it was what, um, we needed. Like, God knows. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying that to go out and just spend your money and trust that God's going to take care of everything. You do need to be, um, smart with your money, you know, frugal at times and just be careful. But we've always had our needs met in one way or another. And so one of the things that we really want to focus on is getting our emergency fund up to $1,000 and then paying off that debt so that we can turn around and be a blessing to others. You know, whether that's, um, I don't think that we'll go down the path of fostering here in the Philippines again because that, that's just a lot of stress and there's no, there's no help here <laughs> and so that's hard. Um, but whether that's helping out an orphanage or sponsoring a child that's here or something, I don't know. We're not for sure what kind of doors the Lord will open for us to be a blessing in the future, but there are plenty of things that we can do in the future. And so, um, what I wanted to share is we have half of our emergency fund taken care of. So we've got half of that colored in and our emergency fund goal is a thousand dollars. And once we get that check deposited that we received, we will be at the full 1000. And so that's just to have that emergency fund, um, is amazing it's such a blessing and um stress like stress off my back with having the twins here um they are on our insurance if we have a major issue but here you have to pay for things first it doesn't go directly to your insurance and i think i've shared that before and so having an amount of money set aside just in case we needed it. Whether a kid gets sick or whether we get a flat tire, um, there's a lot of things that you have to pay for cash here. They don't take hard. And so um, getting that 1000 build up, then our goal is to pay off our snowball. We have two major debts left on our, on our snowball. We've paid off our credit cards. We had, we had three debts. And now we're down to two. So we'll get those paid off. And then our goal is to save up a three to six months of funds so that if something were to happen, we would have that to live off of. And I would say probably for each month, our goal would be um, 1,500, so that times six. Six, seven, eight, nine. So like nine thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, something like that. Um, but anyways, I just I hope that this is an encouragement to you. I, as you guys, as our partners, like we want you to know that we're not, we don't go out and like waste the money that you're investing in God's kingdom. We're trying to use it very wisely. Um, but we also know that we have a long ways to go and to grow in 
learning how to do all that and our goal is to get a cushion so that if something happens to Thomas, something happens to me, or something happens to Dan, um, that we're able to take care of ourselves. And, um, you know, it, it would be amazing to have funds cushioned up enough that we could sit there and say, hey, you know what, I'm really missing family right now. You know, hey, this Christmas break's coming up. Let's, let's, let's fly home and surprise the family. You know, if we get to that point, that would just, it would be a blessing. And, um, and as, as my grandparents get older and things, like, to have the funds and the ability to go back to the States and see them, you know, um, that's a blessing. And so, yeah, there's... There's, there's a lot of different things that we're thinking through and we're figuring out, um, but this is, we've had some hard days, and so this is, this is a blessing, this is an encouragement, and we're just so thankful for you guys, we're so thankful for our community, for our partnership team, um, you guys make what we're doing possible. And I know I've said that before, but I mean it. I truly mean it. And so any sacrifices that you are making for us to be here, any time that you think to pray for us, any time that you take to watch these videos, any time that you take to, you know, read our newsletters and prayer updates and things, it means so much to us. And so I just really wanted you to know that. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. God bless.